Your news tips are worth money. Call in your tip at 223-6059. We'll pay you cash. This is WROI News. WROI, it's time to take a look at that local news. The news today is brought to you by Rochester Greenhouse. Send a fresh cut flower bouquet today and make someone's day. And by Wendy's Restaurant, 2340 South Main, Rochester. Wendy's is way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Currently sitting at 54 degrees under sunny skies here in downtown Rochester. We'll take a look at that full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. Rochester Schools Superintendent Jana Vance was our guest on the WROI School Board Report. The schools are moving ahead with a bond issue, and Mrs. Vance told us about that. These bond monies are to help pay for Riddle's HVAC, and we actually received bids for that. We had anticipated that the Riddle HVAC system would cost around $3.1 million. We got three bids, with the winning bid going to E.J. White at $2,615,000, so well below what we thought we were going to have to spend to get that system put into place. And E.J. White, if you'll recall, is the same contractor we worked with to build the Learning Center. She then told us what the next step is. Once we get Riddle's HVAC system done, then we will have those new systems across the district. We're hoping that it will start as long as things move forward. This is all contingent on the sale of those bonds. And so we're hoping to be able to have that process completed and be able to allow those contractors into Riddle's building at the close of school in May. But again, it's all contingent on those bond sales. Mrs. Vance also told us about some possible future projects at the schools. We'll be looking at the middle school renovating their gymnasium area. We'll be looking at our high school auditorium area. There's talk, and we're trying to drill down on some processes to possibly upgrade our weight room facility for our academics and athletic portion of that program. Looking at carpets across the district in different areas, not in its entirety, but different areas. So really at a point where we can take the opportunity to do some of those wish list aesthetic type things. That, that we've been wanting to do. And again, that was the Rochester School Superintendent, Jana Vance. Gasoline prices have dropped in Indiana by an average of seven cents a gallon since last week. Trilby Lundberg of the Lundberg Petroleum Survey says we shouldn't get used to it. There are reasons to expect that it can't last and that prices will stop dropping and probably rise instead. At the same time that pump prices were declining, Crude oil prices that refiners have to pay have been rising. There's a couple of other reasons, too. Our demand kicks up with daylight saving time coming up, and spring gasoline is a formula that costs more to make. So we will probably see a few more cents sometime soon. And again, that was Trilby Lundberg of the Lundberg Petroleum Survey. The Woodlawn Hospital Board will meet tomorrow morning in executive session at 1130 in the hospital classroom to discuss pending litigation, competitive marketing, and classified records. Then at 1 p.m., the board will hold their regular meeting, and on that agenda will be the Credentials Committee, Capital Equipment, the Financial Reports, including Claims and Bad Debt, the Hospital PI Summary, Departmental Policies and Procedures, Medical Staff and Board Bylaws, and the Administration Report. Tune in Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. for the Woodlawn Hospital Report here on WROI. And the Rochester Lake Manitow City Council will meet tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in the council chambers of the city building complex. And on that agenda will be the area plan report, Harry Webb with the MSRP grant request, storm water billing, the departmental reports, and the committee reports. Tune in Wednesday morning at 8.15 with Rochester Lake Manitow Mayor Ted Denton for the city government report here on WROI and WROIFM.com. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. If you're planning a wedding in the coming year, Rochester Greenhouse, 412 West 11th Street, offers free consultation and offers the most creative and beautiful wedding flowers. Stop by and refresh your home with new cash and carry spring flowers, silk arrangements, and gifts. Next door, Brooch Boutique has received all the great looks and transitional fashions for spring in sizes small to plus. There's new arrivals every day. So shop Rochester Greenhouse and Broach Boutique. Two stores, 
twice the shopping fun. And now for something deliciously different from Wendy's. Wendy's Double Stack is still an option in the 4 for 4. With a quarter pound of fresh beef, four nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's a deal so good it should not exist. Like how owls shouldn't be able to turn their heads all the way around. Whew, wouldn't like that deal. The 4 for 4 with your choice of a Double Stack, Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, or Crispy Chicken BLT. A deal so great, it's impossibly good, but not for long. At participating Wendy's for a limited time, meal includes four-piece chicken nuggets, small fries, and a drink. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. And again, we are sitting at 54 degrees under sunny skies here in downtown Rochester. Culver is at 54 as well. The Grissom Aeroplex is at 53. We see sunny skies the rest of the afternoon. Tonight it'll be clear and we have a low around 34. Tomorrow, sunny skies, high near 58. Tomorrow night, a slight chance of rain late in the overnight hours and a low around 43. On Wednesday, we see a chance of rain in the morning and overnight hours. We have a high near 55 and a low around 43. Thursday, rain throughout the day, a high near 54 and a low around 31. And on Friday, it'll be mostly sunny. We have a high near 43 and a low around 28. Again, 53 degrees at the Grissom Aeroplex, 54 in Culver and 54 here in downtown Rochester. And this has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana from 92.1 WROI and WROIFM.com. And your news was brought to you by Rochester Greenhouse, corner of 11th and Fulton Streets. They are your full service hometown florist. And by Wendy's. Wendy's hamburgers are made fresh, never frozen, now open late. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.